Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to share seven powerful hidden features on your Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra that can completely change the way you use your phone. So these aren't just cosmetic tricks, they can make your phone more fun, efficient and personalized. Now I'll be showing everything on the Galaxy S25 Ultra, but many of these tips can work on other Samsung Galaxy models, especially if you have the latest software update or the Good Lock app installed. So if you enjoyed discovering hidden tricks like this, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss the next video. So let's begin. So the first one is where you can have personalized animated notification on your Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. So using the Good Lock app, you can make your notification truly unique by adding animated effects triggered by keywords. So for example, if the message contains the word love, you could set a floating heart. If it contains a name, you can go ahead and set a YouTube icon. So if it contains a friend's name, you could have flowers bloom across the screen. So these animations overlay beautifully on top of your notification, making them impossible to miss. So let me show you how to set this. So here we'll go ahead and first open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you want to go ahead and scroll down and find Edge Lighting Plus. Now here you want to go ahead and turn this feature on, then tap on Set Custom Style, turn this feature on, and then you want to go ahead and tap on Style by Keyboard. Now here you want to go ahead and tap on Content. So whatever is in the content, so say for example, if a specific word like love or capital L with a love or the name Sammy, you can have different effects on it. So let's just say for example, simple dad. I'll add that. And now for that simple dad, I'll go ahead and change our notification. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply these flowers coming out of the bottom of the screen. So I'll tap done and now if I get a message with simple dad, or if I get any notification with the simple dad, I'll see flower. So if you press home now, and we'll go ahead and test it out. And as you can see, we have flowers coming out. So this adds personality instead of bland, repetitive notification. Every important message feels alive. You have instant recognition. So you'll know at glance what kind of notification it is without reading the whole message. So imagine seeing flowers every time your partner texts you or a stars when it's a work email. The second one is where you can have the slide lock animation effect. So Samsung lets you customize how your lock screen unlocks. So instead of the usual fade in and fade out or the pop effect, you can choose a slide animation like this, where your lock screen smoothly transitions away, almost like a curtain being pulled. So it adds elegant and a fluid touch every time you wake up your phone. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and first open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, you want to go ahead and scroll down and find the Wonderland module. Now tap on create your different lock screen effect. And here we'll tap on the plus sign and create a new one. We'll go ahead and add a picture. So we'll go ahead and choose this. Now we're going to go ahead and choose close and then go ahead and tap on effect type. From here, we'll go ahead and find the slide effect, which looks like that. So we'll tap close. Now we'll go ahead and tap on effect settings and we'll go ahead and set all this. So the speed, the type, movement, and direction. Go ahead and choose whatever you like. Go ahead and try it out. So this is from the bottom. Now, once you're happy with this, you can go ahead and tap on save here at the top right. Save it again. And then it'll ask you if you want to set it as a wallpaper. So yes, tap on lock screen and home screen. And now the slide effect has been applied to your lock screen. So this gives you a premium feel. So the wake up experience looks smoother as if the phone is showing off its advanced screen and animation capabilities. You can customize it so your phone reflects your style and not just the default factory settings. The third one is where you can clip and collect screenshots, links, or any web pages on your Samsung S25 Ultra. The Samsung Collection app is like your personal digital scrapbook. So you can clip text, images, web links, screenshots, or even media from across your apps and internet and store them neatly in one organized space. So think of it as like a knowledge base article, which you carry in an app. So let me show you how to get this app. So this app is only available in China. However, you can go ahead and offload it to your Samsung S25 Ultra by downloading the APK, which I've left in the description down below. So there is a link to a Google Drive. You can go ahead and visit that and you can download the APK. This APK is not available on the Google Play Store or the Galaxy Store, so you'll only be able to find it here. Don't worry, it's not a virus. It's completely free of virus. Just go ahead and download it, and it'll basically show up in your downloads folder, like this, collection. 
go ahead and tap on this and then go ahead and install this. I've already installed it, hence it's telling me to update it. Now go ahead and open it. So this is how the app will look like. As you can see, I've already made a collection of two screenshots and one link. So just let me show you how you can make a collection on your Samsung Galaxy device. So here is an example. I'll go ahead and open up this Lux Power app. And now I'll go ahead and take a screenshot. Now I'll go ahead and tap on share, and then I'll tap on collection. This will now add it to my collection. So I can go ahead and view this. So as you can see, this has now been added to my collection. So as you can see at the top, you have different categories. So in all, you'll see all your screenshots. In Google, you'll see only things which have come from Google. In Samsung Capture, this will only show you screenshots. So it basically organizes all your screenshot links and any media that it has captured in a very organized manner. So this way you basically stay organized, no more scattered screenshots, notes, or copied links. You can keep all your research in one place. This basically boosts your productivity. So it's great for students creating study guides, professional saving references, or hobbyist keeping inspiration. The fourth one is where you can have a customized menu with your volume up and volume down button. So by enabling a certain accessibility shortcut, you can trigger a custom floating menu by pressing the volume up and the volume down button and holding it for about three seconds. So this feature can be customized to perform a variety of actions from the accessibility menus like top up feature, the magnification feature, color correction, and many more. So let me show you how to turn this feature on on your Samsung Galaxy device. So here you need to go ahead and first open the quick panel menu, tap on settings. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find accessibility. Now from here, you wanna find advanced settings and here find volume up and down buttons. Tap on this and here you wanna go ahead and choose what you wanna include in your volume up and volume down button menu. So these are all the options which you can apply. So go ahead and choose what you like. And now once that's done, go back, press home. Now to enable that, go ahead and long press on the volume up and volume down button together. Hold it for three seconds. And this will turn on that menu. So this basically gives you instant shortcuts without touching the screen. So perfectly when your hands are busy, you have the accessibility boost. So it's designed for users who may have difficulty with gestures or reaching to the top of the screen. The fifth one is where you can change the menu timeout for menus appearing on your Samsung Galaxy phone. So Samsung has a hidden option called time to take action, which controls how long system menus or pop-ups stay on screen before disappearing automatically. So for example, when you press the volume up button, this has a timeout of three seconds. After three seconds, it'll basically disappear. Now, if that timeout is too short for you, you can go ahead and change this to something else. So let me show you how to do this. So here you need to go ahead and open up the settings. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find accessibility. Here you wanna go ahead and find advanced settings. And here you wanna find time to take action. So it'll be in the notification area. Tap on this. And as you can see, it's set to default. So the default is three seconds. However, you can go ahead and change this to 10 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute or two minutes. So let's go ahead and try 10 seconds. And now when we go ahead and use our volume control, you'll see that it stays on for 10 seconds. So this is accessibility friendly. So it's for elderly users, children, or people with motor difficulties can take their time without missing prompts. You have fewer mistakes, so you can prevent accidental dismissals. So you don't lose important options. And plus you have a custom experience. So you can set it for short for speed or long for comfort, making your phone work at your pace. So it's completely stress-free, no more rushing to tap an option before it vanishes. The sixth one is where you can play YouTube music on your lock screen. So normally the YouTube app stops playback when you turn off the screen or you lock your phone. So unless you pay for YouTube premium. But here on your Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra or your Samsung Galaxy device, you have a hidden trick where you can open up YouTube through your Samsung internet browser and you can continue to play in the background. So this means you can lock your phone and the audio keeps playing. You even get to the lock screen media control where you can play, pause and skip just like a music app. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and open up the internet browser and we'll go ahead and visit YouTube. Here I'll go ahead and play one of my videos. Now, before we quit this, we wanna go ahead and do some settings. So you wanna go ahead and tap on the three lines here, the bottom right. Next, you wanna tap on settings. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find 
Useful Features. Tap on this, and here you want to find Background Play. Here you want to go ahead and make sure this is turned on. So you want to keep playing video sound after you leave a tab or Samsung internet. Some websites don't support background play, however YouTube does. So now go back. Now you want to go ahead and play the video. And here you'll see these two control bars. Go ahead and make it full screen. And then go ahead and press the home button. So now this is all playing in the background. So as you can see, I'll just increase the volume. So for example, you can place WhatsApp, Spotify, YouTube, Calculator, or even Samsung Notes right there. So you don't waste time unlocking it. Next, I'll go ahead and tap on the top here. So this is being played right now. As you can see, the seconds are going on. Now I can go ahead and lock the screen. So as you can see, I've locked the screen. However, at the bottom here, you'll see that it's still being played. I'll increase the volume again. Now you can play your music right here. And the bottom here, you can go ahead and press pause and play. If you tap on it, you can go ahead and fast forward, rewind it and do whatever you like. So this is all on your lock screen. So you have free background playback. You don't need a YouTube premium subscription to keep listening when your phone is locked. So it's perfect for podcast, music and long talks. It's battery efficient since you can turn off your screen and your phone will keep playing that audio. You have seamless multitasking. It lets you listen to YouTube audio while using other apps when your phone is in the pocket. And you have full playback control without unlocking it, which makes it super convenient. And lastly, the seventh one is where you can customize your navigation bar height. So Samsung lets you adjust the height of your navigation bar. So the bar with your home, back and recent buttons. So you can shrink it for more screen space or you can make it taller for easier tapping. So as you can see, it's currently right now the maximum. However, you can go ahead and shrink this. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and first open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find Navstar. Now you wanna go ahead and turn this feature on, and then you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find this option, Customize Navigation Bar Height. So as you can see, it's currently to the right-hand side. However, you can go ahead and make this smaller by swiping it to the left. So as you can see, it has now become smaller. If I take it to the right, this will make it larger. If I take it in the middle, this will make it like a medium height. And if I make it to the left, it'll be smaller. So now if I press home, you'll see that my navigation bar, my recent home and back has all become a smaller icon. So you have more usable screen. A smaller bar gives you more vertical space for apps, videos, and browsing. A taller bar will make it more easier to press buttons, especially on large screens like the S25 Ultra. You have your personal comfort, so everyone holds their phone differently, and this lets you optimize your grip. And that wraps up seven hidden features on your Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra that can make your phone experience more fun, more productive, and more personal. Remember, while I showed these on the S25 Ultra, many of these work on other Samsung Galaxy phones, so definitely try them out on yours. So if you found this guide helpful, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this with anyone who loves customizing their Galaxy device. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.